Hello, this is James Darknell from Luxology, and I'm here to introduce to you Moto 601, our sixth major release. We've expanded the feature set for 601, adding dozens of new features, as well as hundreds of improvements to Moto across the board, making 601 our most exciting release to date. 601 now offers a full end-to-end -end production solution, plus seamless integration into existing 3D pipelines. What does this mean? Well, for starters, let's talk character animation. Skeletons, joints, deformers, and an all-new full-body IK solver provide you with everything you need to create moving, fully articulated characters. This is sure to be our most anticipated feature, but 601 is about so much more. Let's take a deeper look. Character animation in Moto offers a range of capabilities from sophisticated rigs to the simple-to-use pose tool. These powerful new tools are simply an extension of the workflow Moto users enjoy today, providing a fluid experience for new animators, along with the incredibly deep functionality that professionals demand. After your character is created, you can define a skeleton with an automatic hierarchy created while you draw. Next, bind the joints to the mesh with just a few clicks. The resulting weight maps can be easily adjusted using our new range of weight painting and adjustment tools. Once your character is rigged, grab the new pose tool. It provides an exceptionally easy way for users to position and pose characters with an intuitive handle interface. A right button click pins a joint so that it doesn't move, and a left click lets you freely move it around, all without even needing to understand what IK means. Just activate the tool and start posing. For ease of animating, actors can be created that saved actions and poses. With our fully integrated sculpting tools, you can even fine-tune the shape of a deformed mesh while animating with Moto's Pose Space Sculpting. Also introduced are a series of procedural deformers that provide functionality similar to Moto's modeling tools in a fully animatable form. They can be easily combined with an intuitive order of operation approach, making it easy to generate complex motions with just a simple few layers. Professional riggers will have a ball using the new deformers. Combined with the already deep rigging toolset, Moto 601 provides powerful pro-level tools that are actually fun to work with. In this simple example created by one of our beta testers, a rig was created that provides extensive control over the character's wide variety of expressions using easy on-screen controllers. Additional animation tools like Full Body IK that's as easy to apply as it is to use, combined with all the smaller animation enhancements made for 601, such as visible motion paths, silhouette viewport display mode, alembic import and export combined to provide a robust animation toolset with Moto's famously intuitive workflow. With every release of Moto, we also try to improve and refine our already world-class subdivision surface modeling tools, and 601 is no different. With the introduction of the topology pin, combined with the new point background constraint mode, Users can retopologize dense meshes with ease and produce optimized geometry without the need for external tools. The new topology viewport display mode makes the process even faster and more intuitive. We've also introduced a new falloff type, the soft selection, that fades the effects of the tools outside the selected area with a useful on-screen visualization that makes it as intuitive to use as it is easy to apply. Add in the slip UVs function, fast slice, mesh cleanup, and plenty of other enhancements, and you'll be moving from concept to creation faster than ever before. Enhancements have also been made to the painting tools, making the resulting images cleaner and faster to create. We've introduced new ranges of brush tools too. Particle painting tools give users ultimate control over replicators and particle-based effects. There were also new vertex map painting tools for creating and modifying weight maps and vertex color maps. Game artists rejoice. What release of Moto would be complete without new rendering enhancements? Moto 601 now includes an incredibly powerful render pass system. This often requested feature was designed to support any channel in Moto for any item, offering users not just the most flexible render pass system available, but control over the entire scene, making it one of the most flexible scene control systems around. Another exciting development is the introduction of volumetric items, allowing users to create stunning varieties of smoky and blobby effects. The volume item excels at creating dusty cloud-like forms, and the blobs item can be textured to produce fantastically detailed results. Render booleans let you use meshes to visually subtract out parts of your geometry at render time, revealing interior portions of your model without having to manually remove or hide intervening surfaces. Render booleans are easy to apply, and of course, fully animatable.
we've also introduced new materials. A skin shader and a hair shader make rendering lifelike characters even easier than before. Cell edges, cell shading, matte caps, and a half-toning material make stylized non-photoreal renders a new creative option in your rendering arsenal. Add in the rounded edge shading option that simplifies the rendering of complex CAD elements, sky portals, camera clipping planes, texture replicators, new gradient types, a completely redesigned render display with color correction tools, and you have rendering power that can't be beat. And if that wasn't enough, Moto 601 includes the latest release of Recoil, fully integrated dynamics that seamlessly work with the new deformers. It seems like quite a lot, but there's actually plenty more that we didn't even mention. Please visit our website, luxology.com, to check out our image gallery, take a complete tour of Moto 601, and visit our active Moto community in the forum.